Apparently some plant out in Santo short circuit. Heard the EMPs were knocking AVs out of the sky. The CPD says the blackout led to 120 mil in damages all in all. You two head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. Got a jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out?
But then, everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. You're not coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. And besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. You gonna breach security? Get me in the penthouse? Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Gotta manage on your own. Okay, on my way. Elevator's on the other side. Be safe. How's the sitch? We're inside at Clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. A routine inspection has shown many have been corrupted with malware. Police experts have confirmed the identified virus can lead to cyberware failure and, in extreme cases, even death. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has... All right, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful though, okay? I'll be late. I told you I have shit tons of work. On my mark! No, don't go! Wake up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway. Love you too.
Oh, Jesus, fuck. Floor is clear. I killed him. I killed them all. Same here. Go to the surveillance cam in front no. of the security room. You do it today. Beginning to think you wouldn't make it. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. Not all girls have to be nice, Johnny. Besides, she's got to deal with the gang. She shouldn't be. Didn't want to trip any alarms. Had to come through quietly. Fast forward a year. Could have called off the guards, you know. Would have been quicker. Simpler. I don't have that kind of authority. Yet. Why are there three guys? What she planned? That's our target. Hiromi Sato. You don't have authority... yet? <laughs> you sound damn sure of yourself. Left no room for error. We're exactly where we need to be. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my face. I know the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Michael, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I promised to help Judy, and here we are, thanks to her. But little Jude's cut from a different cloth than you and me. She's dreaming if she thinks she can have justice and peace in Night City without cuts, bruises, and blood. Meaning you want to replace Hiromi. Mm-hmm. Even if that means joining the Tiger Claws. How the fuck else do you expect me to protect Clouds from other gangs? Don't like this one bit. Too late for second thoughts. Tom and Roxy've done their part. Your little doll revolution is underway. Either we consolidate and win it all, or let everything go to waste. Do you think? Well, she is no Barker. Wait, what's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. And now he's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? No. I have lost... Looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept, but this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager stands before me now, speaking Hold with- Hold on, Michael. I think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. Oh, fuck! Oh. Time for a fuck, man! Oh.
Vee, what the hell were you thinking? Have you any idea what's gonna happen now? Matter of fact, I do. Either you walk away and never come back to Clouds, or I end you here and now. I see you got everything planned out, but you forgot just one thing. I've also got a doll chip. All right, V, get out of there. Exit's on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. followed. Get down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. It's on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. They weren't followed. Get down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. You... You killed her? Oh my fucking god. You killed her. I'm sorry, Judy. I, I didn't plan for it to happen. I know. Give me a sec. I gotta gather my wits. I, uh... I gotta process all this in peace. Alone. Be seeing you, V. See you, Judy.
Oh, you again. Thank you. Something that'll keep you hard. I can't help asking. At all. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before their time. Terrible family tragedy. You're not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Stranger, you who? Yeah, you. There any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Sure, be my guest. What must all trauma team medics swear to uphold? The hypocritical oath. Okay, uh, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat, anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? <laughs> My name is V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Uh, pretty often, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry. Did I correctly hear you ask if I wanted to join you for a cup of coffee? Um, no. Oh, well, that's okay. Because you can have one now. And just to clarify, we don't have to move an inch. How do you take it? Milk? Sugar? Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here, cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brennan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Cool. So, did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But, could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street. Depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude. Even though, technically, I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> What a neat phrase.
seem rather lost. Too many agents of chaos, overwhelmed by discontent. You again. Did you enjoy our first meditation? Where'd you vanish to? Someone else needed me. Yeah, I felt good as new after. Deep contemplation must be regular in order to yield results. One drop of rain shall not quench your thirst. Would you like to try again? Well, how much for another one? That is for you to decide. Should be enough. Good. I will watch over you during the meditation. Thank you. 
The contours of your awareness are much clearer now. The knot in your mind is beginning to unwind. You are drowning in the here and now. I'm starting to get the hang of all this. Inner harmony is like coming home from a long journey. Do not cling too tightly to your thoughts, but allow them to flow freely. Does a toad clench its fist when it swims? What is the sound of one hand clapping? That depends. Is someone clapping with you? I want to try another one. How much would you like to pay this time? Will this be enough? Yes. You may begin. I will guide you. Rays of sunlight pierce the canopy, dancing and weaving into the tongues of flame below. Spirit of fire, spirit of the sun, I send you greetings. You give beauty to all other things. I am you, and you are me. There is no life without you. From you I was created, and to you I will return. Spirit of the sun, Primordial fire, burn all impurity from my body and soul and the negative energy of negative people, worlds, and dimensions. 
Cleanse every cell of my body. Give me the energy of life, health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, and happiness. Give me lasting inner peace so that no one may shake me from my sacred equilibrium. Through half-closed eyes, we absorb the sun's divine energy. Through our eyes, the energy of fire, of the sun, touches our heads and flows down through every organ until it arrives at our toes. Each and every cell within our body, including the subtle and etheric, is replenished with the sun's energy. And from within us, light emerges. We are the sun. We thank you, spirit of the sun, element of fire with our mind, body, and soul. <laughs> Of course that would happen.
he did it again. And we just got back together. And now he's dodging my calls. He's just scared of getting dumped. And so he always does it first. And I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Ugh, I feel like such a gonk. He's the gonk here, Theo. Not you. You have so much love and empathy to give to people like him. But at what cost? I gotta go now. But thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. <sighs> Brandon, you are the sweetest person I know. I'll see you later. Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh! You mean Theo? She's my bestest friend. Gosh, <laughs> she's so nice. And pretty. And sensitive. I like talking to her. Definitely way more fun than pumping out caramel lattes. Why do I get the feeling that judging people on how they look and feel is... ever so slightly beyond you? Hogwash. If I couldn't analyze people... How would I know whether to recommend a Daring Dairy instead of a Tiancha? I may have overestimated you. You're nothing but a robot. And not even a complex one at that. You don't need to be complex to say something meaningful from time to time. See you, Brendan. <laughs>